let's learn how to make these super awesome Polaroid designs just like that in Kittle. So I have a new project open and this is just a 1080 by 1350 and I have some examples of Polaroid designs here. I think I wanna go for something like this. It's got a nice Polaroid picture and some text and elements around it that I think are really cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the images panel and I've just typed in Polaroid here. This is extremely useful because it gets us that real Polaroid look and a lot of them are already on a white background. If you wanna use a different colored background, you can just remove this Polaroid from the background using the background remover and then you could change the, the color of the background yourself. But for this one, I'm just gonna use white. Then I'm gonna go back to the photos panel and I'm going to find a film photo. So I just type in film photo and I really like this blurred uh, duplicated looking flower thing. And then when I go into my elements panel, I can just grab a square mask and then I can just plop my photo in there and this is already looking pretty good. So I'm gonna close my panel here and then I'm just going to adjust the corners here to be precise matching the edges of this Polaroid. And it looks like it may be tilted just a little bit. So I'm gonna grab that picture and tilt it back to where it's perfectly straight. Then again, I'm gonna zoom back in and just make sure that my photo is covering all of the edges of the photo that's in the actual Polaroid underneath and all my edges line up. Then I'm just gonna do some simple correction to this photo just to make it feel a little bit more vivid and a little bit more film forward. I'm gonna up the contrast just a hair and I think that looks super good. Going back and looking at my reference, it just looks like I've got some text on top and bottom and some sides, maybe using a couple different fonts, uh, a sans serif with a serif font. So I'm gonna use instrument serif here for my main text. And then I've just got to come up with something to put here. So I just typed in something like flower love. This is just arbitrary for the design. You can obviously type whatever you like. I'm going to center that up and then I'm going to close the line spacing just to give us that nice 90s feel. I've found that a lot of uh, 90s designs when they're using a serif font is just that you just close the letter spacing a little bit. Uh, to where the letters are pretty close together and it really just helps you achieve that 90s look. So I'm just doing a little bit of adjusting here. I'm going to add another text box and for this sans serif I'm going to go with Bricklage Grotesque. It's got some nice ink traps and just a little bit of character to it that I think is fun. And the text is going to be pretty small anyway so it is not super super important which sans serif we choose but I think this one looks nice in all caps. And I think I might use a thicker weight. So I'm going to use semi bold and then I just put some other uh, custom text in there and center those up. So that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to select this title and duplicate it and bring it down here and then type something else in here like a date. This is just the, the date of the when I made this design. So May 7th and I'm just going to do a little bit of adjusting here. I'm seeing what it might look like to mirror that same text on top of the date. So some text like that looks pretty cool. Now I'm just doing a little bit more adjusting to the spacing between the text. Group everything together and make sure that it's center on my canvas as well as the Polaroid itself, leaving some good space in between the Polaroid picture and my text. Then I'm gonna duplicate this text over here and just rotate it to be vertical. Then I can click in here and put some text, like maybe I just wanna use the date again. Make sure that's center. And then copy that over and type in here, uh, flower love. So it's just the title again. Make sure that is center as well. And then I can group these together and make sure they are aligned to my artboard as well. I'm just seeing what it would look like to adjust the size of the Polaroid here. And I think this looks pretty good as our first design. Moving on to the second design, I'm just gonna copy my artboard here and delete all of that. And I think I wanna go for something like this 
where it looks kind of 3D. We've got like kind of a Polaroid Pantone shape going on and an object that kind of spills over the bounding box. So I'm just gonna use a nice uh, desaturated kind of blue as my background, just a really, really calming color. And then I'm gonna grab a basic shape and I'm gonna make that white and just center it up. Adjust the sizing a little bit just to make sure that it looks good to the eye. And so I've basically just got an object popping out of that Pantone box and then maybe two lines of text. So what I can do here is I'm gonna grab another shape and size this to kind of create that fake Polaroid look. And I can make sure these are center together. And then I'm gonna grab this shape and make it the same color as the background. Now I just need to find a good image. So I've typed in flower pot. I want something with some height as well as good contrast to the background. Something like this looks super awesome. And I know the background will remove well because it's just on a white background. And so I can use my background remover. This will also be great for this design because it's got some nice height and things that can spill over uh, that bounding box, that white bounding box to give that kind of popping out of the frame effect. I'm just gonna zoom in and line things up here and make sure everything looks great. Next, I'm just gonna add a headline and I'm gonna look for another sans serif font. Something like Cal Sans looks really good, very clean, slightly art deco, but it just gives me that Pantone kind of feel. And I'm gonna type in something here like art and design, adjust my box, and maybe adjust my sizing a little bit. This looks a little too big, maybe a little bigger. Something like that looks good. And then I'm gonna add a second line of text down here as well, in all caps. Design with Kittle, and make that pretty small, and put it down there at the bottom. Well, that's all for today's video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please just take a second and click that subscribe button. It really helps us out a lot, helps us make more tutorials just like this one. Drop a comment if you liked these designs and found this helpful and let us know what you wanna see more of here on the channel and make sure to like this video as well and stick around. Watch some of the other awesome tutorials that we have using Kittle. If you haven't tried Kittle yet, we have a promo code for you in the description of this video to sign up and get a percentage off a pro plan. If you don't wanna worry about that, you can always try Kittle for free. We have a free trial just for you. Head over to Kittle and try it out today. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.